Nobody believes that I really killed AJ. I mean, even, even Mac thinks I'm telling the truth. Ross doesn't care, no, no. They, they, they're just trying to grab readers. Just ignore it. I wish I could, Jax. I do, but you know, they, they probably didn't even mention that I said Rachel's the real killer. Uh, I called Justice to represent you. Well, 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 look who's here. Little girl out on the town with a rich boyfriend. And not a flicker of remorse for what you did to AJ. All right, Alan, just back off, OK? Yeah, because Courtney's not a killer. <laughs> I don't usually do this sort of thing for someone I just met. Oh, yeah? <laughs> so what makes me the lucky one? I don't know. Call it chemistry, but I just felt an immediate connection to you. And I acted on it. Tell me the truth. I wonder if after the temper tantrum he threw in front of Dr. Winters that she might be more open to the idea that he poses a threat to Christina. It's more important for you to prove to the psychiatrist and to the judge that you are capable of providing a stable and loving home for Christina. I don't think that's the issue at hand Everything here. is an issue at this point. Alexis, every allegation you throw up against Sonny, he can and will throw it up against you. Do you think that I want to do this? I'm taking no pleasure out of this. I'm just trying to protect Christina. You have to be able to prove that Sonny has become a threat to Christina. You have no solid evidence to support it. You know that I'm doing this because I have to. I will try anything that I can do at this point. And, and I know that you disagree with it, but it doesn't help me to understand me every five minutes. Why don't we just get this over? Not, what, not yet. Apparently, the judge is in chambers with an important witness. Who else besides the two of us would have anything to say about this? this happen, Rachel? You had brains, beauty, no life ahead of you. And no matter how bitter or angry you were, I just can't imagine that you would murder somebody. And I can't imagine that you would arrange to have me murdered too. How did it come to this? It's almost like we were destined to meet. <clears throat> Kismet. <laughs> I mean, how else would you explain it? I mean, the two of us ending up alone together in the Bahamas, the exact same point in our lives where we would meet each other. Rachel, you are a beautiful woman. Why haven't you been swept off your feet by now? Did you do all of this because you fell in love with me? And because I wouldn't return your feelings? But if we go back, Rachel, if we go back to before things went wrong, we can try again. But I can't do it alone. I can't. And so I need you to wake up. I need you to wake up and I need you to talk to me.
such a phony, coming in here attacking Courtney, acting like you were a devoted father and you lost a cherished son. What are you talking about? I'm the only Quartermain who ever stood up for him. I love my son. Oh my God, I was there, Alan. Don't you remember? I watched the way you constantly put AJ down. You were down. Where? I, I that that never that happened. happened. It never happened. Of course, AJ made mistakes. We all do. Oh, isn't that a convenient out? I love my son, Carly. In the same way that you're going to love Morgan, even if he turns out to be like Sonny or his murderous aunt. You? You hated AJ. Alan, I did not kill him. You tell that to the judge and jury. Look, Courtney had every reason to want AJ dead, but she didn't do it. Well, the police have evidence. They've got her fingerprints on a murder weapon. You're going to prison, little girl. And neither Jax, nor Carly, nor Sonny are going to be able to stop it. No, don't. Has, has Rachel come out of her coma again? No. And the doctors aren't sure if she ever will. You guys, if she doesn't wake up, this thing could go to trial. No, we're not letting that happen. Hey, if you're suggesting that she should go to Sonny for help, No, I'm not it. suggesting she go to Sonny. He's got enough issues to deal with on his own. Alexis is going after him again. Not again. Yes, again. If it were enough that we lost Michael. <laughs> the boat is so cool. Yeah. It goes pretty fast, doesn't it? Yeah. Even faster than Dad's. Yeah, well, you know, we can take it out later if you want. Cruise the harbor, watch the sailing ships. Cool. Yeah. You hungry? Huh? I got some subs in the fridge. What do you say? I'll work. Okay. I'll be right back. Okay. Okay. He said he didn't want to see me again. Please write and tell me what happened. Why did you and Dad stop loving me? I haven't stopped loving you. Michael. Michael! Yeah? Watch is ready. Oh, OK. Let me just finish this level on the video game. Come on, let's eat out here. Okay. <laughs> hey, guys. Hi. Nice work. Thanks. Yeah. I just uh, came by to say thanks for your efforts in honor of my grandson. Well, Michael was a wonderful boy, so we wanted to do just something to help the park that was, that was there to memorialize him. It's trash, you know, we're picking up trash. It's not much, but we're contributing. So. No, no, absolutely. It's something. And good for you. You know, people say the kids today don't care about anybody but themselves. It's young men and women like you who prove everybody wrong. I'm very proud of you. And, uh, on behalf of Michael, thank you. Something good happened to Michael's death. Diego Sanchez. Yeah. Is this yours? Yeah. Why? What's that? Sells like marijuana. You're under arrest for possession with the intent to distribute. The judge called me in to testify about my investigation of the Sandoval hit. I assume you told him that Sonny was a suspect? I told him that there is no evidence linking Sonny to the shootings. But Sonny is the subject of an ongoing investigation. I also told the judge that he had been questioned, as had dozens of other people, that Sonny has an alibi, and there is no evidence whatsoever linking him to the shootings. Mr. Corinthos, Ms. Davis, come in. The judge wants to speak to you prior to the psychiatrist interview. Protected Sonny. I told the truth.
And Alan's gonna do everything he can to railroad Courtney. Why? Because it's guilty until proven innocent. Well, unfortunately, there's no evidence that Rachel set up Courtney. I mean, Mac believes it, but the story's so outlandish. Well, Jerry could think that I made it up to save my own life. A person can be amazingly creative when they're being accused of murder. The truth is, guys, I had motive, means, and opportunity, and that combined with a murder weapon makes for a virtually airtight case. Justice, thanks for coming. That was so quickly. Okay, I just got back from the PCPD. Okay. Any news? Unfortunately, there isn't a, uh, a shred of evidence to suggest that Rachel was blackmailing you. That hand movement. It's just an involuntary reaction. But if you can hear me, Rachel. Right. If you can hear me, I want you to go back to the beginning when we met. Go back to the beginning and think of the fun we used to have. When we used to go out, those art house movies, and those long walks that we used to take. Late at night after we were done our shift. Doctor. A patient needs your immediate attention. All right. Mm. I was involved with someone. And I loved him, and I thought he loved me, but it ended badly. Well, then I guess it is kiss me that our paths crossed. I can't joke about this. I mean, I haven't trusted a man in so long, and... Of course, I don't know what it is about you, but... I just, I feel like we've known each other our whole lives. It just it scares me a little, because... I don't know, everything just... Everything that happened with Steven... This guy really hurt you, didn't he? Yes, he did. I said, I don't know if I'm ever going to be able to forgive him. That's not mine. I have no idea how it got in my backpack. Come on, man. You can do better. No, that. he's telling the truth, okay? Diego doesn't do drugs. And I bet he has a Boy Scout badge to prove it. <laughs> what? Why are you singling him out? Because he's Hispanic or what? You trying to play the race card on me? Look, somebody must have planted that stuff in my bag, okay? Why would somebody do that, Diego? I don't know. That's for you guys to who, figure out. Who told you that he has drugs in his bag? Why don't you be grilling that person right now? He's the one with enough marijuana to sell to a dozen kids at the playground. Look, Diego would never do that, all right? Sir, look, I'm his girlfriend. I would know. And you'd say anything to get him out of this. Let's go, Diego. Come on. No, please. Please, stop. Brooklyn, stop. You're going to get yourself into trouble. Maybe you don't know your boyfriend as well as you think. Don't say what you think I want to hear. There are no right or wrong answers. Just respond honestly. And I appreciate that. Thank you. Dr. Winters, I have reason to believe that unsupervised contact with Sonny could be dangerous to our daughter. When the court ordered that he get unlimited visitation, however, I complied. I'm aware of this, Miss Davis. I'm assuming that you're also aware that our children were kidnapped from his home and that his eldest son was murdered. He's also a suspect in ordering the killings at the Metro Court Hotel. He continued his violence directly after his son was murdered. He professes to love his children, and he may indeed love them. But knowingly or unknowingly, he puts their lives at risk every day. Let's talk about you, shall we? Okay. I have a successful practice. I'm an attorney. I'm a good mother. I'm a loving mother, however, I'm imperfect. There are extenuating circumstances. I'd like to hear about those. We argued. He attacked me. There was a knife on the floor. I grabbed it. He charged at me, and he ran into the knife. 
It was self-defense and I was exonerated in court. And you were ordered to undergo extensive psychiatric therapy. Correct. To which I completed. Let's talk about the time you kidnapped your Dr. daughter. Dr. Winters, if I may interject, I believe that Sonny is emotionally unstable and he has never received professional help. He's had several nervous breakdowns. He's had violent and destructive episodes. You can ask him about them. And his wife and his friend have managed to, to cover them up and keep them a secret to the rest of the world. I'm sorry, you live serious come, come in. Miss Davis and I ran a little over. Thank you, Dr. Winters. Right there? All right. Uh -huh. uh. Miss Davis thinks you're dangerous. She's right. I'm devoted to my children. I would do anything for my family. Uh, so when Alexis kept Christina away from me, I fought her with every legal means possible, so if, if you want to call that dangerous, you can. So Ms. Davis's fears are unfounded? Well, you know what? I'm a, I'm a businessman. I'm a coffee importer. And yet bombs have gone off in your cars, your home, and your children have been kidnapped. The kidnapper Faith Roscoe was trying to get back at Alexis um, and her husband Rick, as well as me, so I guess we were all to blame, or... None of us were. Let's talk about you and Miss Davis. Lexus was my lawyer for a long time. We became friends. We started flirting when I became estranged from my wife. And uh, one night in my apartment, we started flirting, and then, you know, I, that turned into sex. Uh, things happened. And um, I never slept with her again. As a result, Alexis got pregnant with Christina. And she didn't tell you you were the father? She, she kept it secret from me for three years. Now, she claims it was to protect Christina. Maybe it was. Maybe she was bitter because I got back with my wife and she wanted to, you know, get back at me. I don't know the reason. I will say this, though. What she did was wrong. What she's doing now is wrong. I would do anything for my children. I, I would lay down my life for my children. The question is, Mr. Corinthos, are they laying down their lives when they're with you? Miss Sanchez. Hi. Hi, John Hi. Durant. Hi. I'm with the federal prosecutor's office. Uh, I'm following up on the Sandoval shooting, so. Now, I understand that you couldn't make a positive ID at the PCPD? Uh, no, um, I looked at the lineup, but I didn't recognize the man I saw on the stairwell. Oh, you mean Jason Morgan? Oh, I, I couldn't say. Or wouldn't. Oh, go ahead, answer it. I'm calling from the station about your son. How do you know that? Just answer. Hello? Yes, this is Diego's mother. Hey, how's Rachel doing? There's no change. She had an involuntary muscle reaction, but um, still no sign that she's gonna come out of the coma. I've been talking to her trying to engage her subconscious on some level and hoping I might give her the impetus to wake up. Just do whatever it takes. Yeah. Courtney's uh, freedom depends on it. Look, even if Rachel wakes up, if she continues to claim that she never laid eyes on AJ, there'll be no way to prove that she killed him. Yeah, we were, we were each in there for about a half hour with 
psychiatrist. How'd it go? Uh, I don't know, you know, we'll see. The judge is in there with the psychiatrist right now. The judge would like to speak with Mrs. Corinthos. Hi, Mrs. Corinthos. And I will be happy to answer any questions the judge has to ask me. You believe Courtney, don't you? At this point, I don't know what to believe. Stephen, I'm telling the truth. Maybe so. But I just can't get my head around the concept that Rachel actually killed AJ. Well, he's dead, and Rachel told me no. that she did it. And also, it's so far-fetched that she's been after me all this time. Well, Stephen, she's furious at you. I know. I know she is. But murder? She blames you for ruining her life. Her life has completely turned around. She has everything in the world to look forward to. You're just thinking logically here, Stephen. I am thinking about the twisted logic of a criminal. I deal with it every day in my forensics work, and Rachel does not fit it. Yeah, well, well, maybe you're too close to her to see it. I talked to a guy we both used to know. He said that there was someone new in her life. Oh, you know, she could have made that up to cover up how hurt she was. Look, she... She might have put on a front with me. But this guy said that she was genuinely happy. <laughs> this is all just happening so fast. Why wait? <laughs> it's just, it's just hard for me after what happened with Steven. I... The guy who hurt you. I'm trying to get past it, but... Being with me is the best revenge. Michael, you don't have to hide that letter from me. This is private. You can't read it. I won't. Listen, I, I think it's great that you're writing to your mom. Buddy, don't forget, I, I'm the one who tried to get them to talk to you. They owe you an explanation. Maybe a letter like this will do the trick. And Mom will write back to me. I'm sure she will. Let me get you some stamps, okay? You're gonna need a lot of these to get all the way to Port Charles. He knew I was getting that call. You had that marijuana plant in Diego's backpack, didn't you? No comment. My son doesn't do drugs. Oh, with a father like Lorenzo Alcazar, that's gonna be pretty hard to sell. What do you want? I think you already know. I want you to go to Agent Marshall, tell her exactly what you saw the day of the shootings here at the Metro Court. I already made my statement. Now you're gonna go back and you're gonna tell her the truth. Mr. Durant, You're gonna I... tell her that you saw Jason Morgan. You're making assumptions. Look, Miss Sanchez, let's not play games here. I know you don't care what happens to you, but I bet you do care what happens to your son, right? I'll find a way to get him exonerated. Oh, exonerated, that's a big word. Well, let me tell you something. The police have evidence. Your son will be tried, he will be convicted, and Diego will go to prison. Mr. Durant, God, he's just a boy. He has his whole future ahead of him. God, just... Please, drop the charges. Oh, hey. Nothing would make me happier than to make this go away. All you have to do is go to Agent Marshall and ID Jason Morgan. Hmm? You're divorcing Mr. Corinthos, but you have an equitable arrangement with respect to your son. You don't appear to have any of the fears Ms. Davis has expressed. Can you tell us why? Sonny and I, um, we've had our issues. We've disagreed, we've fought, we've broken up, we've reconciled. But through all of it, Sonny has been a wonderful, wonderful father. He is very loving to his children, and he would do anything for them. Did your personal issues affect the children? Like children are always affected by divorce, no matter how much you want to shield them. But Sonny and I have always tried to, um, 
We've always tried to come together on the issue of our kids. To your knowledge, is Mr. Corinthos a good father to Christina? <laughs> he's a wonderful father. He is wonderful. He is loving and supportive, and he's been very accommodating to Alexis. Do you have any reason to believe that Mr. Corinthos is mentally or emotionally unstable? No, Your Honor. Do you have any reason to believe that your son or Christina are in danger, physical danger, from Mr. Corinthos, his business, or his associates? No, Your Honor. The woman who murdered your son had a grudge against Mr. Corinthos. The woman who murdered my son was insane. Michael was a nine-year-old little boy, and he was amazing. He loved Sonny. He respected him. He admired him. Sonny taught him to believe in himself. I know he's already a wonderful father to Morgan, as good as he ever was to Michael, and I just believe that he has the same right to be that kind of a father to Christina. Thank you. I sent the letter. Yeah, that's all. Listen, get dressed. I'm gonna take you out for some fun. Where? We're gonna go across the bay, we're taking the boat, and you're driving. Nice. Stephen was right. There's no way we're going to prove that I didn't AJ. Look, even if Rachel doesn't wake up, something will come through to prove that you're innocent. <sighs> it's not your don't give up hope speech. What? It didn't work? Not really. But thanks for trying. Well, there's not much we can do about it now, so why don't we just put it out of our minds? There you go. What do you suggest? I don't know. How about uh, an afternoon of wild, meaningless sex? Huh? <laughs> 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 this is better already. <laughs> I'll pour some wine and watch a movie on TV. Hmm? Well, um, why don't you back up to that, that first idea? Wine? Sex. Passionate. Meaningful sex mm. with a man I adore. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Dad, this is crazy. Diego did nothing wrong. And he has nothing to worry about. Well, yeah, except that the cops specifically targeted him. There were four of us at that park. Why'd they decide to search his backpack? Because he's not white? Officer Murphy arrested Diego before, and the fact is he had drugs in his backpack. Yeah, yeah, and if it was a kid like me from a rich white family, every cop in here would be handling me with kid gloves. I'd call my lawyer, he'd come in here and say that I was framed and I'd be out of here in an hour tops, free and clear. You know that. Don't push your luck, Dylan. I'm just saying, you're assuming Diego did it. You're assuming You know, right that. now, George is off limits to you. You keep this up, and I'll make that arrangement permanent. Okay, so so threatening me is easier than admitting the truth that you had, you made up your mind about Diego before you even knew what was going on? My job is to gather facts, and that's what I fully intend to do. Fine, fine. Then listen to Diego's side of the story. My dad is going to be fair, aren't you, Dad? Here you go. Hey, look, I'm so sorry. We're going to figure everything out. Yeah, I Te juro que no tiene nada que ver. Te lo hice nada. Te lo juro. No problema. I I believe you, Diego. I know how to get you out of this. Your Honor, since you gave Mrs. Corinthos the opportunity to speak, I would like to be given the chance to say a few words. Fair enough, but please keep it brief, Mr. Lansing. Yes, Your Honor, I'll try. Your Honor, these past few weeks, my wife has been in hell. I think it's difficult for any of us to imagine the horror of having a child kidnapped. I mean, every minute of every day, Alexis was in agony, wondering whether Christina were alive or dead, whether she were hurt, whether she were frightened, whether she was being deprived of food or water. The ordeal is over now, thank God. And Christina is home, safe and well. But Alexis is now expecting her second child. 
Her body and her mind are geared towards bringing a new life into this world. She's already taking care of this child even now. That's all she wants, Your Honor. Just to take care of her children. She's not trying to deprive Christina of her father or Sonny of his daughter. But Your Honor, unless and until Mr. Corinthos stops dealing in violence, stops perpetrating it, Christina is not safe with him. Thank you, Mr. Lansing. I appreciate your comments. You and Mrs. Corinthos are dismissed. I've reached my decision. What are you thinking? She was madly in love with him, right? I mean, she, she put her career on the line to, to take the blame for that mistake they made in surgery. Right. And then she just turns around and, and gets involved with someone else. Well, she's trying to move on. But then why would she still want revenge against Steven? It just, I don't know, it doesn't really make sense. None of it does. Why would a woman like Rachel, who has devoted herself to healing people, just turn around and, and kill a stranger. She wanted to commit the perfect crime. Where are you going with this? Maybe he wasn't a stranger. What, what are you saying? That, that Rachel had met AJ before? God, Jax, what, what? What if AJ was a man she was in a relationship with? What if it wasn't an accident that she was on that plane with me? You bastard. You have an entire file on me. My relationship with Steve and everything. I wanted to understand you better. <laughs> Why? What do you want with me? Actually, I think it's something we both want. You know what? Forget it. You are sick. Rachel, Rachel, this guy, this guy hurt you, okay? More than you can even admit. He didn't just leave you. He ruined your, your, your career, your future, everything in it. And that's none of your business. You're angry. You want revenge. No. Yes, yes, I know. Because I want it too. I want it too. Look, we both have someone in our past who needs to pay for what they did to us. You know what? I'm leaving. I'm out of here. Hear me out first. Okay? I think I have a plan that you're gonna like. Okay. What do you mean you can get me out of this? Just leave it to me. No, Mom, look, you've tried to protect me before and wound up hurting yourself. No, I won't be hurt. Okay, then tell me. You, you don't need to know the details. No, forget it. Forget it. Whatever it is, no, I don't want you doing Diego, it. Diego, you're going to prison unless I help, huh? Trust me. Mom, shh. What was that all about? Diego, no, talk to me. You look worried. Oh, yeah, but not for me, for my mom. Um, I would like you to arrange a meeting for me with um, Agent Marshall. Mr. 
Davis, I'm sympathetic to your concern for your daughter. As a parent myself, had one of my children been kidnapped, I would do anything to keep it from happening again. Mr. Corinthos, you've been hospitalized three times for gunshot wounds. Had cars, homes, warehouses exploded, and now you've been questioned in connection with a multiple homicide. I have to be honest, I wouldn't want a child anywhere near you. And I have to wonder why, if you love your children as much as you say you do, you don't find another line of work or give them up altogether. That said, the law is the law, and it is my duty to uphold it regardless of personal feelings. You are a very effective alleged criminal, Mr. Corinthos, because there is no evidence against you. Despite her best efforts, Ms. Davis has failed to prove that Christina's situation has changed in any substantial way since the first custody hearing. Therefore, Ms. Davis, despite my personal misgivings, I am denying your petition. The existing custody agreement stands. However, should any proof come to light regarding Mr. Corinthos's alleged criminal activity, I will gladly grant a new hearing. and one day you're gonna push me so much, I'm gonna take Christina away from you, no matter what I have to do.